I'm Chad Mack from Microsoft, and this is Work Reworked, the show that uncovers the often unexpected ways technology is changing how people work. Today, we're heading to Bend, Oregon, home of craft beer innovator Deschutes Brewery, or as I like to call it, Willy Wonka for grown-ups. Deschutes began in 1988 as a small brew pub and has since expanded to a nationwide business. But that original spot is still serving up good food along with exclusive brews. Hero shot? <laughs> Here we go, man. Cheers. Hey, can we get a toast? These folks are shaking up the industry by using artificial intelligence to maximize output while maintaining consistent quality. Brewmaster Brian Favor oversees this whole process. He's also the one that brewed up the idea of mixing cloud computing with the art of beer making. Now you have a really interesting background. I mean, you're the mastermind, if I can call you that, who, who took it from traditional brewing down to the new ways of working with artificial intelligence and just thinking about technology in your industry. When we talk about our core values, we really always like to talk about quality and doing things better the next time. So we're looking at the key performance indicators of our fermentation. We're looking at hours for certain phases, diastole levels, how much alcohol, how much sugar is left to be fermented. We're trying to be as consistent as we can to ensure that level of quality that we know our fans love. There's no doubt the move to machine learning and predictive analytics has led to better output, but has it affected how Deschutes employees work? Assistant brewmaster Sean Garvin and QA specialist Bree Francisco are a part of the team turning data points into tasty beer. How has your job changed with the additional technology in the cloud that's kind of come to Deschutes and helped you, you know, kind of do your work? When I first started, things were basically just recorded, written down. We had these binders you would write down what fermenter it came from, where it went, and how many barrels, and the data just wasn't really being used. So now we can have one display that's pulling from this database and see what's happening. So do you like your jobs more now that you have these additional tools? I don't like to sit in number crunch, so I like it. <laughs> no, I do too. It just saves us so much time, so now, now we can work on other things and just do our job a lot better and more efficient. And I think there can be a misconception as automation increases, creativity and artistry decreases. It's not that we're trying to remove the human element. You know, we always need the human element. or the ones creating, say, a new brand, new recipe. The artistry and the technology, in my mind, they work hand in hand to create better beer. It's a pretty cool recipe. AI efficiency plus human artistry equals damn tasty beer. Instead of just having a gut feel of what's going on, you really can start to see these like outer elements of, hey, maybe if we play with this a bit, I wonder if we can extract more flavor this way. Using these models like this, we can be proactive and then we can consistently make that higher quality product. Work reworked! I love it, brilliant. Now I get to drink this. <laughs>